Covered, Miss Stretch. I've read all the wildlife textbooks. It'll be a breeze. Well, <laughs> we shall see. Now, where is your wildlife tutor? Ah! Oh, what's up, little tame towners? Oh, and of course, the lovely leggy lady. Oh, oh well, thank you. Andy, where did you come from? I was here the whole time. I used the tall grass to move around. Undetected like. That's lesson one, isn't it? Use what the savannah gives you. Somebody's been doing his homework. And lesson two? On the savannah, you travel fast and light. Exactamundo! And that means no tame town or gadgets or gizmos or grub. Drop the packs. Leave them by that rock. But what about my vacuum pack mango burgers? My clean water canteen, my ropes and lantern lights. You heard Dandy. I... Oh. I mean, Andy. Packs down immediate more. Pew, when I said I'd help you practice for your wildlife test, I didn't mean this. Relax, Chiku. If you get into trouble, I'll be here to bail you out. Okay, it's time to get wild. Bon chance, children. I'll be here to pick you up tomorrow. But that doesn't mean I won't be keeping an eye on you in the meantime. All right! Anybody hungry? Starving! Grubs? Now wait a monkey minute! Chiku, in the wild you can't just go to the kitchen for a snack. Lesson three, right, Andy? Ha <laughs> ha, bang on, but dude. You eat what nature gives you. Mm. I've only read about this in books. I've never actually eaten one before. <laughs> Your turn. Wunderbost. Insects are a rich source of protein. I, <laughs> I swallowed a bug. I swallowed a bug. Huh. Well, sounds like a hyena with a head cold. <laughs> okay, on to lesson four. Finding water. I know where there's lots of water. Back in our canteens. The textbook says we should listen for mosquitoes because they like to hang around water. <laughs> this way. All right, Badood. Not all bodies of water are safe to drink from, but I can vouch for this one. Ew. Are you sure this is safe? Yeah, this water has a funny taste. Oh, can't a hippo get a little privacy? Ugh! We were drinking bath water? Ugh. Finding water in the wild. Oh, très bon badou. Hmm. I... <coughs> that doesn't sound like a hyena. Yeah, now that's the uh, screaming savannah stork. <coughs> Very rare. <coughs> now, lesson five shelter. <coughs> Welcome to 
to Badu's palace. I built it to withstand anything nature can throw at it. Ah! <laughs> There's plenty of room over here if you want to hang out. Hey, you didn't build your shelter. You found it. I'm just following Lesson 1 and using what the savanna gave me. Hey, can't argue with that. Great job, Dudette. advantage of the natural landscape to build a shelter. Bravo! <laughs> that was no savanna stork. Yeah, probably uh, an aardvark who sucked up a wasp or something. Okay, come on, next lesson. Next lesson? But it's late and we just finished our shelter. Yeah, isn't it time to start a campfire and roast some berries on a stick? Those are for tame towners, dude. Wildlifers don't use them. Fires attract bugs and other animals, and they can get out of control, too. But what do you do when it gets dark and, you know, scary? Use your smarts. You can't always trust your eyes or your ears. What sounds big could be small, and what sounds small could be sneaking up to ah! pounce on you! <laughs> gotcha! Uh, the best way to not be scared of the dark is to know what's in it. <laughs> Lesson six, know your territory. You know, this Savannah skill stuff is a lot harder than I thought. You're doing okay, Boo. Really, you are. Look, Andy, there are tracks here. Yep, fresh ones, too. Better follow them and see who our neighbor is. Couldn't you just tell us? We well, have, yeah, but then you wouldn't learn anything. <laughs> Andy! Whoa! Andy, are you okay? Can you climb out? Negatory, little buddy. This pit is way deep and way steep. <laughs> There's nothing here we can lower to you. If we had the rope from our packs. Andy, do you think we should go back and get our packs? Uh, there's some rope there. But that means finding the landing site in the dark. In the dark, Boo! Andy, what should we do? Trust your training, Badood. We're going to get the ropes. We'll be back as quick as we can. Boo, what if we get lost? I know where we're going, I think. Racing off in the dark? Very unwise. Whatever that is, I hope it's not coming for us. Whoa! Ah, it's got Boo! No, I'm here. I just tripped. Check it out. This was part of the shelter I was building. Look! It means we are going the right way. The watering hole should be over there. Come on. Yep, tastes like hippo. <gasps> You're tracking our trail backward. And we're on the right path. This is where we found the grubs. You did it, Boo. You tracked us right back to where we started from. Now we just have to, hey, where's our gear? Oh, no. Who would take our packs? And how are we going to get Andy out of that pit? we got to get him out, Boo. Whoa! Use what the savanna gives you. Huh? I know how to rescue Andy. Come on. Don't worry, Andy. One savanna rescue mission coming up. All right. You tried that already. It stuck tight. But remember how Andy lifted up the rock for the grubs? Tastic! Hold up! Andy! Shh! There's something in the glass. Maybe something hungry. Here's what we do. When I give the signal, you push the log down to Andy. I'll handle our guest. Ch 
Chiku, now! Hopefully you didn't ruffle those beautiful feathers, little birdie. Oh. <laughs> Miss Stretch, what are you doing out here? You took our gear? Why? Dudes, Miss Stretch and I have been working together the whole time. You weren't just getting training, you were being graded too. Then the pit trap? Acting! I fell into it on purpose. It was the final test to see if you could use your new skills. With Chiku's help, you passed with flying feathers. <laughs> now this is the life. Yeah, the wildlife. Don't you just love it, Miss Stretch? <sighs> there is nothing quite like roughing it. I couldn't. Jake, please be back by three o'clock. Three o'clock, gotcha! <laughs> Oi, what's at three o'clock? Hey! One, Jake. Thanks, Boo. Hey, do you know where Cornelius is going? He was carrying suitcases. Suitcases? Maybe you're going on vacation. A vacation? Wow, really? I don't know, Jake. Cornelius never goes on vacation. Well, if it's not a vacation, why would Cornelius have suitcases? How come, Boo? Unless he was, you know, moving away or something. <laughs> away? You, you think we're moving away? No, of course not. Maybe? You're not moving away. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not. King Babar would know. Can you ask him, Boo? I would, but he and Nana flew to Lady Retaxis' pool party charity thing. Save the swamps. But I've got a better idea. Let's ask Cornelius. He's the one with the secret suitcases. No, uh, uh, oh, uh, hello, children. Hi, Cornelius. What's the luggage for? Yeah, where are you going? It looks like you're going somewhere. You, you, well, ha, of course one sees luggage and assumes that one is going away. Hey, is this mine? Yeah, no, the, uh, this bag belongs to uh, Lady Retaxes. Lady Retaxis is coming to the palace? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yes, it's a surprise. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have to deliver these to the uh, guest room. That's it, yes. Busted! Yeah, Lady Retaxis isn't coming. Cornelius was definitely hiding something. Why would he hide something? It must be bad. I am moving! Bummer spell, Jake. But you can always visit, and we'll write. I wonder when you hit the road. Three o'clock! That's when Cornelius told me to be home. Jake isn't going anywhere until I talk to my pappy. I mean, how can Cornelius even think about leaving with such an important guest coming? So how long is Lady Retaxes going to be here, Boo? I don't know. <laughs> Cornelius said it was a surprise visit. <gasps> Lady Retaxes? Coming here? <clears throat> oh, Prince Badu! Yes, Miss Stretch? Did I? <laughs> By chance, overhear you mention in passing, I'm sure, <laughs> that Lady Retaxis is coming! Cornelius is taking her luggage to a guest room right now. Oh, oh my favorite feathers. I have to alert the staff. I, I have to warn the kitchen. I have to find Cornelius! Lady Retaxis is coming! She's coming! Lady Retaxis is coming! 
Nutsoness? There's no way Cornelius can leave. <laughs> Children, why are you standing around? The entire palace must do everything possible to give Lady Rataxis a warm rhino welcome. Cornelius! And we need to keep Cornelius 500% busy. Operation Secret Suitcase has begun. Are you sure, <laughs> Master Badu? Well, you said you needed to prepare in half the time. This will definitely speed things up. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Let me see. I, I have our blimp liner tickets, and Jake's favorite toys are all packed. Yeah. Time to get to the blimp field. <gasps> Tooting tusks. I'll have to hurry if I'm to get Hello. these to the... Ah! Jake! To the guest room, right? Let me take them. Oh, that's not necessary. J uh, Jake, Jake, no! Howling <laughs> hyenas, what are you doing? Sorry, sir, but with so little time to prepare for Lady Rataxis, I needed to speed things up. Uh, Lady Rataxis isn't coming here. She isn't? I, 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 I meant she isn't coming here until later, uh, yeah, much later. Tastic. Then there's plenty of time to make more hot buttered honey tarts. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, butter away. I, I need to find them. Yeah, Jake, come back. I need those. Oh, my tusks. What now? The babbling buffoons. What is going on? We're trying out some new riffs for when Lady Retaxis arrives. Yeah, but Lady Retaxis isn't... Uh... Lady Retaxis isn't... what? I... I isn't, uh, fond of riffs. Whee! Yeah, but it sounds splendid. Carry on. Jake, I beg of you to... Tumbling tigers, what is that? What monkey madness is this? Oh, Cornelius, there you are. I was looking at... <coughs> Why is there mud in the fountain? I don't know. Miss Stritch told us to make Lady Retaxis feel welcome, and everyone knows how much rhinos love a mud bath. But Lady Retaxis isn't. I wish there was time. Uh, time. Uh, we have to leave. No, you can't leave. Oh. oh, my. Whoa! Did it work? Huh? Huh? Did it ever? Cornelius is way too busy to leave now. Oh, no. Whoa. Coming, school. <laughs> oh. Operation Secret Suitcase is a big success. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. It's a big success. How come I don't feel so good? Three o'clock! Ah, you will never make it. My plans are ruined. No, they're not, Cornelius. I'm right here. Jake? You want to move? No, but what would you do if it was your mom and dad? Or your nana and pappy? If Cornelius is going, then I am too. We'll miss you, Jake. I'll miss you guys too. Me too. I'm coming, Cornelius. Luggage! Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Lady Retaxis' uh, luggage. It's okay. I know Lady Retaxis isn't coming. She's not? Will someone tell me what's going on? Yes, Celeste and I would love to know as well. Your Royal Highness, I, uh, you're home early. How grand. Yes, we wanted to give you and Jake a bon voyage gift. 
It's a camera for your vacation. Vacation? vacation? You mean Cornelius and Jake aren't moving? You're moving? I would never leave Celesteville. I just wanted to surprise Jake with a vacation to the Mooncastle Mountains. There's a new amusement park there. <laughs> An amusement park! Wow! <laughs> Jake and Cornelius aren't moving! All right! That's so great! Isn't it great? Now, perhaps, someone will tell us what's been going on here. Oh, it's my fault, Greatheart. In my effort to keep the trip a surprise, I'm afraid I told a few fibs. I uh, led them to believe Lady Retaxis was coming. What was that? Did I hear someone talking about me? Well, Lady Retaxis is here! Ah! Save the Swamp's pool party was a huge success. Unfortunately, the belly flop competition flooded the Rhino Castle. So I invited the lady here to be our guest. Huh, like any elephant would know how to treat a rhino. Well, anyone can whip up some tarts, but wait, is that a mud bath? Ah, oh. oh, wonderful mud. Could be warmer, though. Ah, just who I was looking for. Wow, it's a postcard from Jake. Cool, read it, Bill, read it. Hi, guys, having a blast. Wish you were here. Smell you soon. Love, Jake. <laughs> I can't wait until he and Cornelius are home. Where they belong. 